Welcome back to another OpenTunes animating tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, drawing in vector as opposed to raster. So we're going to look at both of those, look at the different ways that the tools act when you're in raster and vector. Uh, that's basically all we're going to do in this one. We're not going to be doing anything with the timeline or X sheet or animation, um, but it is very, very important to understand this. So up here at the top, we're in we can be in a different room we're just going to be in the basic room for this one, so if you want to make sure that yours looks like mine, you'll just want to be in the basic tab or room. Uh, by default, OpenTunes thinks we want to work in vector. And I would say, for me, I prefer vector, so I don't think that's a problem, but just be aware that by default, if we just start, if we click the brush tool over here with our left mouse button and left click and start drawing something, this is vector. So if you're not familiar with vector, it's going to be like Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape. It's a set of mathematical instructions to help redraw this line. And what it lets us do is if we click click on the shapes tool here, and by default, the default shape is a rectangle, we can left click and draw a rectangle. Um, vector lets us come over here to the selection tool and left click and select an object. We can move it around, we can overlap it over top of another object without interfering with it and without them becoming the same object. We can make changes to the object once uh, once we're done. We can, uh, we can come over here to uh, edit the, the different nodes. So this actually has n different nodes and we can edit the node of this object and change. But it's all math. It's all a bunch of math telling us what to do. Um, and because it's math, we can scale in here. So we can zoom in very, very, very close to these lines and it never gets grainy. It never becomes pixelated because this is a vector. I'm, I'm zooming in by using my scroll wheel on the mouse, by the way. Uh, this is vector. Um, now I'm just going to show you, to, so you have a, uh, an idea of reference what it looks like to be working in raster. I've restarted OpenTunes, so our levels are reset, and we can go to File, New Level. This is where we can choose and tell OpenTunes if we want to work in vector or raster. It's under this type. So by default, it's vector. But if we choose Tunes Raster Level, it has these other options that show up. It says, what do you want the DPI to be? Dots per inch. And we have a width and a height. We can leave all this the same, but just be aware, in Vector, we don't have the options. We can't choose a resolution like a DPI. We still have an X and a Y, like 1920 by 1080, but we don't have, um, there's no bottom limit. We can keep zooming in and in as far as we want. With Raster, there will be a limit. I'll show you what I mean by that. So now we're working in Raster. and the tools are going to look the same. We can still draw. It looks similar. We can draw a shape. But if we change, uh, or if we zoom in here, we start to see it gets a little bit, uh, we see these jagged edges, and we can't zoom in very far. And this is like those dots, the pixels that we're talking about. So we can actually see in there the individual pixels. Not only that, but if we try to grab the selection tool and click on one of these to move it around, we can't select these because they're not objects. They're not. Uh, it's not in vector. It's just. It's more like Microsoft Paint, GIMP, Photoshop. We can select them, but we have to do it like this. We have to select the entire, uh, like an entire window selection, like this, and then we can move it around. But it breaks. It kind of breaks the object, which might be nice. Maybe something that you want to do. If we draw, we can draw just an object like this, like a circle. Grab the selection left click and hold and now we can select and move this circle around we can still rotate it and do different things with it but it's not really an object it's just an entire selection so we can also select all of this and and resize it so I hope you're seeing the differences here of how this is this is basically just cutting up all the pixels and rearranging them but it definitely is um, pixels and there's no we can't grab this node tool like we did last time it just says we can't use this tool. It comes up with the dialog here. And so this tool has a little red um, you know, circle by it saying this is only, you know, only a tool we can use in vector. Well, I hope that makes sense. Um, just be aware there's, there's the different types. Um, you can have concurrent ones. We can work with multiple at the same time. If we go to File, New Level Now, we can create a vector level and hit OK. And it puts it over here. So we have Column 1, Column 2. So right now, column one is in raster, and column two is in vector, and we can draw it. It, it kind of overlays them over top of each other, but we see this, this part under level changes. So this level is showing what's drawn in the raster level. 
if we click on this cell, it's showing what's drawn in the vector level, but they're, sh but they're both showing up in our animation. And to toggle with what is being viewed, we can also click this button up here to toggle what's being viewed. And so this one, we can absolutely click and move around separately without interfering with the other ones, but these ones we can't select. So just be aware that they, you can work with multiple at the same time, and that to do that, we put them in these different columns. We'll touch more on that in future videos, but just be aware that it's you don't have to choose one or the other for your entire project. You can mix and use vector and raster at the same time. Well, I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.